Hey there, everybody. So this is Dwarf Fortress. Let me turn on the sound for you. Uh, today I screwed up a little bit. Uh, just, just, just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Not, not a big deal, but see. Uh, oh god, pause. Um, so, let's start from the beginning. First, I found this flooded section of the cavern. I was like, I... I don't, I don't, I don't like having to go up here and these are, the blue stuff is water. And I, I, I was like, I don't want to go, I don't want my dwarves to have to go all the way up here to fish and get water and stuff. So what I was going to do, and for farm plots for that matter, which is what all this rainbowy garbage is. So what I did, genius, genius that I am, I did a very smart thing and I, tunneled out three huge chambers to uh, catch all the water, and then I channeled out some little bits. These little darker bits are like pits downward. To the water, Dwarf Fortress simulates everything. So, the water would flow down into here. Now, I don't actually know how or whether Dwarf Fortress handles water at the edges, if that's just infinite water. I probably should have, I, I tried googling it a little bit and I gave up and I was just like, eh, I'll figure it out and you know, if it fills up forever, it fills up and then it doesn't matter because I, I walled it off here. That's what, these are kind of constructed walls. These are kind of the rough walls with this, you know, garbage here. That's a little dwarf, by the way. Um, so everything was good and tidy and I even made a little well right here and everything was going good. Um, and then I was like, this first thing filled up and I was like, eh, you know, that's, that seems like more water than was originally in here, but you know, I, I don't know how the physics work. I'll, I'll just let it figure it out. And then this thing filled up, I was like, okay. I think, I think there's infinite water from beyond that wall. So that's, that is in fact a problem. And if anybody knows better than I do, 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 do correct me. Um, anyway, so then I dug down here and what I was gonna do is build like a whole section here and here and here to like, you know, contain the extra water, which if it's infinite water, you know, <laughs> that would be a waste of time, but hey, it gives me lots of digging experience. Um, but then I accidentally, while marking the uh, lower bits, I didn't realize that the wall here was one over from this wall. So when I, I did a marker from the bottom to the top, like a cube, or like a three dimensional rectangle, not exactly a cube, a, a block of sorts. Um, and I accidentally included digging through this wall, which is the only thing keeping the water out. And apparently if you've already discovered that there's water on the other side of the wall, it doesn't warn you that that's going to happen, that it's just going to dig right through. Usually it pauses it's like, hey, this damp stone here, we, we don't want to dig here. Hi, Parker. Um, so what I did, um, I, my little dwarves were already all in here digging and they, they didn't even really panic because it started filling up. And boy, did it start filling up real fast. Um, I, I, I thought like, oh, hey, you know, it's not going to fill up that fast. It's, it's, it's fine. And this poor sucker, um, I dig, dig, buddy, dig, 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 dig right through to here. So what they're doing right now is digging literally for their lives. And, um, I've got a rescue party, hopefully, uh, it's currently a rescue party of one. And I got a door here, which obviously doors block water, I, th I think. It's, it's gonna be all right. I just need to get these idiots. Like this guy here, is this, oh gosh. Uh, five out of seven is bad. So the water has different layers or levels. So like this is, oh, that's actually pretty full. Uh, it's two out of one, that's like, like one is like, you know, at your heels. Two is like ankle deep. Uh, four is where it starts to be like above waist high, I think, and that's kind of a problem. One should always respect the law. So this guy, <laughs> er, she doesn't really care that she's kind of at major risk of drowning. She she couldn't pray, pray to her god, so she's like, oh yeah, dang. Maybe she's like, oh no, <laughs> I didn't pray to my god. That's maybe <laughs> maybe my god is smiting me or something. So I hope these guys are smart enough to to run. Uh, th through through the thing, they probably are not. Um, I'm just gonna tell this guy to dig over here. Uh, they're, they're, they're not the smartest little things, dwarves, unfortunately. 
Um, I'm just trying to use the dig di designations with highest priority so they think, oh no, gotta, gotta go over here. And, um, oh gosh, I really hope that manager there, the, I think that's my manager, she's purple. Uh, it's the chief medical dwarf, so that's a slight problem, uh oh, I, I think she might be toast. Um, we've struck Cobaltite though, so that's nice. Okay, forget, forget this passage. I don't know where my other idiot dwarves are. I, I can't. Oh my gosh, the rescue party is here. Okay. Okay, so also, also gonna need. Um, I don't know how to use floodgates, so. I'm just gonna put like a crap ton of doors. Okay, you don't. You guys don't need to. Okay. Forget. Forget this part. I was gonna try to spread it so there was so much water. Oh god, this is real bad. I was gonna try to spread it so there was a lot of. Like, the water would thin out. But it's coming out too fast for that. So I, what I need to do, I just need to make... I hope doors work like I think they do. Um, oh goodness. This could be some fun. Um, this Dwarf Fortress is a game about fun. I don't know if you can just make like a series of doors. Like, I, I think you can. I don't... I, that seems really stupid, but I think it might actually work. That's how things tend to be in this game. Would you... This idiot. Run! This water! You're gonna die! Okay, hold on. Oh, but if I build a wall there, this game has water pressure, so if I build... I was thinking of making him build a wall. Um, he might be too dumb for that, though. Okay, X. You know what? Run! Run! Run to the right! Run to the right, guys! Run to the right! Okay. I think... If I give them enough wall space to dig on, they'll all rush for it. Dwarves are not very smart. They, they, they handle themselves in non-dangerous situations just fine, but, but, oh. Oh, rest, rest in pieces. Oh, I think she's dead! I think that one is dead. Uh, the, the, the blood around it. Yeah. That's Geshe Uzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzzuzz
man. There were things that I could have done to make this a bit better. Oh, gosh. Guys, 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 guys. You gotta do the thing. You gotta do the thing. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, if they're in... Dwarves, just do not swim. I don't... Un just... Oh. Yeah, they're dead. Um... Go, 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 dude, go! No, 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 no! You're fine, you're fine, you're fine! Don't, don't, calm down, calm down, you're fine! Oh, that's totally full. Okay, the, the water is flowing in way farther, so that's... Alright, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dead dwarves! Well, the good news... Alright, I'll, I'll let him... Alright, no, he's... He's not coming back. So, I just lost seven dwarves, but the good news, the good news, um, I gained one well. I gained a well out of all of this. Okay, wait, hold up. Can cancel the fucking digging, guys. Can cancel, cancel, oh, Parker, do not kiss the mic, please. No, cancel. Okay, there's, there's no reason to dig anymore. There's, uh, part, do not kiss the mic, please. He knows that I'm talking to the mic, too. He does not rub the mic when I, when I'm... He knows. He knows it's you. But yeah, so... They made a valiant effort though, didn't they? They made a really valiant effort, and they really tried. They, um, they were idiots, and they didn't really try well enough to not die. But I, I was really surprised that started flushing out, because like, when I started this project, I t channeled in one hole, and I was like, oh, there's so much water, it's gonna, like, flush out like a fire hose. And it was, like, a dribble. And, like, it, it took forever, so I had to channel all these extra holes in there. And then I just popped this one core. I guess because it's going down, versus, like, all of this pressure. But... Yeah, so... So if this flows up... So the one thing I could really use with when playing Dwarf Fortress is a thing that shows you what inputs I'm doing. Where did where is my there it is. Okay. So he's dead everybody is dead. <laughs> We're just gonna have to leave them there too. Um the one thing I'm wondering is uh Oh. Okay, okay, that's bad. Um build what what, what menu am I in? Uh build a wall right there okay just wall it off and forget about it that's the number one way oh it's cave spider regular cave spider uh, there's there's a thing called a giant cave spider which is much much more scary than okay you don't have to do the doors guys the doors <laughs> that was a dumb idea at its best but th th those are no longer needed you can just continue about your day um shit i think this is the most dwarves i've lost in a single event I did accidentally, there was a, a crushing incident where I, I didn't really think that cave ends work quite the way they do. Like, I figured if you were digging in an already existing cave, like, it was like, you know, if I, if you, I figured if you started at the top and dug down-wise, you would be fine. This is apparently not, wh 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 who was getting bit? Stop getting bitten by a cave spider. Oh, that's just the same message. It just displays really long. Okay, that... I have a feeling that's gonna like spurt up that staircase is gonna like spurt up with water. So <laughs> God damn it. Four. <sighs> Wait, is that eight? No, it's just seven. <laughs> I, I wonder if this is gonna like contaminate that water, because this is this kind of well water? Um I hope dead dwarves do not contaminate water. As, but as, as sad as that is, like, because that would be really uh, annoying. Like, they, they, they died for a reason. They died for for science, honestly. That's that's a big part of this game is killing your dwarves in the name of science, or in the names of stupid things. I kind of hate how engravings look in this game. They make the the, the bright gray stuff that's engraved, which it makes it look beautiful to dwarves, but it's a little ugly stuff. Okay, what I'm trying to do is, um, what I need to do is memorialize all of these poor dead dwarves that died for, for, for science. Um, engrave memorial slab, alt s. Wait, what? No, no. Engrave? Oh, it's been a while since I've engraved slabs. Dogs? Why, why would I 
and grave for dog. I don't care about the dog. Slab and grave, slab and grave entombed. No slabs, not memorialized. Okay, good. Uh, Snello? Who's Snello? I don't know if these are my dwarves or like just random people, but I will memorialize them. Why you, why you have to memorialize them is um, it will actually... They will actually come back as ghosts if you don't do that. So, Snello, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, is that all of them? I can't. Okay, yeah, that, that's all of them. That's all seven. All right, so now a dwarf has to come and engrave their names into a slab, and uh, that basically works in place of a um, of a coffin. You can just place them in a coffin if you can access the body but I can't because it's under like 18 billion gallons of death water, which for regular water is death water for dwarves. They, they do not swim. They do not swim good. I think swimming, swimming is a stat in adventure mode, but I don't, I don't think you can really train your dwarves to swim. I don't know how that would work exactly. Can you submerge dwarves like in, in like four out of seven of water and like slowly train them so they won't like die like this? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably one of those things that just doesn't work very well. But yeah, I, I dug in a single tile that I didn't mean to. And, and now seven people are dead. So that's basically the core of Dwarf Fortress. I know, I know he's been missing for a week. I killed him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. All right, so you, are you doing the thing? That strumming is like, that is like intense. So yeah, I just gotta wait for those guys. Unfortunately, it's sla slabs are like hauling stones. I mean, they're stones, so they're heavy. Um, and it takes a while. Don't think like a little rock. Think like a giant ass boulder seems to be. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't have to remind me, I just killed them. Oh, you don't see the thing. Oh, I haven't zoomed in a little bit too close, don't I? It's telling me at the bottom. Why is that all like that? I think I was doing something stupid with the stream. Um, that Dwarf Fortress is weird in, the, in how it's windowed, so let me- oh no. Oh no, ew! Ew! What is that? Why does it like that? Oh no! Guys, why is it true type? Why, why did it turn into true type? Okay, let me- But yeah, there's little messages at the bottom and it kept- yeah, it's just, I know they're dead! I know they're dead! You don't have to tell me! But yeah, that, basi that basically means they're dead. Uh, but they haven't found the body yet. And... I don't know how that affects dwarven, like, panicness. Like, I I'm sure they realize their friends, you and your friends, are dead. But uh, yeah. I probably should have split this job up to different um, workshops. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Um, the Dwarf Fortress is a game where you accidentally kill a bunch of dwarves, but. It's fine, because we found sweet metals, and uh, we've made an ass load of... Look at look at all of this crap. This is all my furniture. I've got mudstone coffers. I've got... I've got micro-clean mechanisms. I've got... Uh, we got a pigtail bag. It's not the kind of pigtail you're thinking of. It's like a plant. Um, this is dead... What? Is that the dead elf? What? Why is that here? Why did you guys bring that here? Oh my god, dwarves are so gross. Who put that corpse in my furniture pile? What? That's an elf I killed for- an elf came to yell at me for- because I cut down trees, and so I killed him? Um, and- Why did you put it here? This is- I don't think that's where we killed him. I think- I mean, wait, it may be- a, we- I actually killed a couple. Um, this dwarf- the elven diplomat comes and yells at you, and I killed two of them in a row. And I don't know how long it's going to take them to come on, uh, to, to, to do that. Eventually they come and, like, make war with you. Um. <laughs> For God's sake, why is its corpse still here? There's, there's even, there's a corpse pile. There's a place to put corpses, guys. This, uh, this, it even has, like, a hyperbolic, like, stink airlock. With these, these doors block the stink if you go through. So, the, the rotting stuff makes stink in this game. Like I said, it simulates everything. 
Um, but yeah, you don't want the you don't want dead stink. Cause let me let's watch the dead elf. It should make like stink clouds, unless it's been. I guess it. I don't know. Maybe it's inert at this point. <sighs> this goddamn ridiculous game. But yeah, um, I should have mentioned this earlier. But I'm gonna be streaming Dwarf Fortress with a totally new, uh, a new world if Mediacom lets me stream. But yeah, Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna stream Dwarf Fortress, a new world, gonna start up a totally new fort, show you how how things work. Uh, I'll explain all the stuff that I'm building. So, uh, assuming that you watch like the archives or like watch the whole stream, you're, you're gonna see everything that I understand, everything I do. So you know, you're not gonna be lost and be like, oh. Well, what is all of this crap? Because, you know, I already have this stuff built. But, yeah. Ah, get your tail out of my face! Um... <laughs> Somebody... What? Why, why is the elf... Get, get it out of my furniture. I don't even... I don't even... You know what? Get this elf. Get... I don't want your dead elves all over my beautiful furniture. Get it out of here. Oh, wait. I don't think that... Hold on. I don't think that did what I thought it did. You can mark things for dumping. I think I marked an iron anvil. Yeah, I don't... Why, why is that? No, no, Parker, do not kiss the mic, please. Honey, 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 leave it alone. He doesn't do this when I'm not talking to the mic. I think he knows somehow. But yeah, dump, dump that corpse, please. I don't, we don't need that there. There's no reason for that. That's gonna scare the dwarves too. This, it, it, when they see sentient bodies, it like scares them. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I turned off. I turned off all the dwarven orders. I guess gather bodies was off because of that. But yeah, I. I told them to stop doing the other stuff so they could focus on saving their friends. Which good job, dwarves! By the way. You made it about one fourth of the way before they were all dead. So. You know. <laughs> good job. Somebody get that elf out of here. Who's coming to get the dead elf? Is it the white guy? There he goes, there he goes, he's getting it, he's getting it, look at him go! Alright, let's follow, let's follow this guy. <laughs> this, him getting rid of this stupid elf body is highly amusing to me, let's watch him go. By the way, one of the forgotten beasts that we saw in my stream, uh, it just died fighting, they just wander around and they kill everything in their path. Um, and one of them just died because of, I don't even know why. But something killed it through, like, either attrition or... Wait, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes, I just have this pit. I just have this pit now. And it just goes plop on the floor down here. Oh, I thought I channeled this out so it would go all the way down. Oh, I think I... I think I channeled out the wrong block. Um, let me address that right now. I could have swore... So now they should channel it out. I don't know if like... I don't know if they... I think they may have to like move all the stuff off that tile first. I don't know how that works. But yeah. Get, get that... Get that elf out of here. <laughs> Look at all of them go to pick up all of the stuff from the dead elf. They're like, yeah, this is ours now, buddy. <laughs> there it goes! <laughs> they just channeled it out and dropped the elf on the floor. This is... This is the best. Even even when a bunch of my own duders die, it, it's okay because we can also kill elves. Elves are big assholes in this game, by the way. That's that's why that's why I'm so mad at them. But it's why why do they keep picking up? They're not taking his masculinity, by the way. The the, the male symbol is because um, that's what a bag looks like in this game. Not that kind of bag. It's, that's dirty. Calm your dirty thoughts. Did you engrave those slabs? He's got he's got most of them. If you don't engrave them fast enough, you get ghostly dwarves trying to you know murder people in some cases. But yeah, that's that's a little dwarf fortress catch up on what I've been doing and murdering my poor dwarves on accident. You know, second degree manslaughter at worst. But yeah. Rest in pieces. It's fine though, because I, my population is honestly a little bit too high. I went and lowered the population cap, but it's already I already have like 200 goddamn dwarves. Uh, it's getting a little slow on my laptop, so I set the, you know, they're not gonna make any new dwarven babies until I get down to 150, which 
<laughs> we'll be within the week if I keep doing, you know, science like that. Yeah, if anybody knows how that water thing works, let me know. But I don't know, I'll, I'll keep poking at it with a stick. Pray to Domus Trade Jewels. Uh, let's look up, let's check out one of the Forgotten Beasts real quick while I'm thinking of it. Uh, follow. This one's boring. I don't get this one. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. But you can see all those C's. Those are Crundles. He's massacred a bunch of Crundles down here. Dwarf Fortress. It takes a while to get used to it, but once you understand and you start to learn to read the things, uh, it's just really cool because kind of, your imagination kind of fills it in. Those red O's. Trust me on this, but the, those are the stalks of like these big underground mushroom tree things. This, this S sucks. Go, go do things. Let's look at it. Let's look at him. A great seropod with lidless eyes. It has a short trunk and it is slavering. It is. Its goldenrod scales are round and overlapping. Beware its noxious secretions. Bulfio Miafarathona. It's a forgotten beast. Its trunk is mangled beyond recognition. Oh, it's all screwed up! Its right rear leg is dented. Its upper body is dented. Uh, dented, dented, everything is dented. Its neck is dented. That sounds bad. Its teeth is gone. Bears a bunch of tiny scars. <laughs> everything in combat, the way this game handles combat is really cool. It's not like HP, it's like damage to specific body parts and stuff. Uh, there's this other one that is uh, in much better shape, I must say. And uh, this one. There's, there's one of his skills. Uh, wh what is that? A naked mole dog! Rest in peace. A great bow with external ribs. It has thin wings of stretched skin, and it undulates rhythmically. Its brass air is unkempt. Beware its poisonous bite. Look at all of these scars. Its entire body is covered in tiny scars. And I thought this one would die due to attrition, because it was beat up before. But it seems to have healed, and it's just... <laughs> its entire body mass is covered in scars, but it's fine. Yeah, you can watch these. That's a bone. It, it, <laughs> that's the bone from the Moldog. It just splattered out. Gross. This, combat in this game is super brutal, by the way. You, you just gotta read it. Oh, and that's a giant cave swallow, I think. Yep, giant cave swallow, mangled, partial skeleton. Ow. These forgotten beasts, since I walled them off, they just kind of wander these caves and murder everything in the caves for me. And I, I'll, one day I'll, I'll pop the cork with a bunch of military dwarves and just kill kill those for fun. But <laughs> I'm having plenty of fun drowning my dwarves for, for now, so I'll, I'll leave that for later. <laughs> Mel G. Kermit has ended a mandate. Good for him. So yeah, this was, this was kind of a disaster. But, uh... I learned something, so it was worth it. Maybe not for the dwarves, but I mean for me. You know, knowing is half the battle. So, that's that's a little bit of Dwarf Fortress for you. It's just a little peek into the insanity that happens here. And, uh, hope to see everybody in the stream this weekend.